Hello, my name is Kathleen Ryan from Driving MBA, and I have a quick driving tip for today. The method of steering that we teach here at Driving MBA is called shuffle steering. It's quite a bit different than it was originally taught with the ten, hands at 10 and 2. We now teach that the hands should not ever be higher than 9 and 3, and 8 and 4 is a good place. You'll notice that my thumbs are pointed up, so that if our thumbs are ever wrapped around, the airbag ever comes out, our thumbs would be get damaged. That's not the only reason that we use shuffle steering though. We also use shuffle steering because if our hands are up here, even if you squeeze, you can feel that you're using your larger muscle group here, which heightens the chance of having an overcorrection on the steering. So we want to keep our hands down here. If you squeeze, you'll see that you're using your smaller muscle group. The chances of having an overcorrection are diminished. So we're going to, I'm going to be giving you an example of how this works, how we hands do migrate to the top of the wheel just to initiate turns. And if you want to watch me on the simulator now, I will perform a right hand shuffle steer turn. Notice that we stop behind the white line. There are no signs prohibiting right hand turn at red, but I want to make sure that the way is clear. So I do a double stop. Pull it in, and form another one here. So my hands are staying at 9 and 3 and 8 and 4 until I go to initiate a turn. My hand comes up to the top, the hand that I'm using, I'm making a right hand turn, my right hand goes to the top of the wheel. Part of the other reason that we don't want to keep our hands on the top of the wheel, as I mentioned before, we do have the advent of the airbag since the days when we taught 10 and 2. If that airbag were to explode at approximately 200 miles per hour, and my hands are located here, I run the risk of having my hands propelled into my face at 200 miles an hour, into the window at 200 miles an hour. Um, my sister-in-law no longer has the use of her right hand because of this kind of an accident. Now, since I'm using my right hand to initiate my turns to the right, if I'm making a left hand turn, I will use my left hand to initiate the turn. I think most people end up driving with their hands down at the 9 and 3 or 8 and 4 because it's a lot more comfortable as well. If it's more comfortable, the chances of our students keeping both hands on the steering wheel are greatly improved. So I'm making a left hand turn. So that's it for our tip for today, shuffle steering.